Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to unroot the Motorola Droid 2. If you're not there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, so like that in the address bar, and then search for how to unroot the Motorola Droid 2 procedure. Okay, before you begin, the only real reason to unroot is if you need to send the phone in for warranty, um, or if you've bricked your phone, you can't turn it on, etc., then this will help you do that. Um, this will also erase most of the things on your phone, so as a precaution, please back up your contacts with Google, and then also back up your SD card contacts, save them to your computer, etc., just in case. Okay, so we're going to be using a Motorola flashing software called RSD Lite. Um, we're going to be using a special version of it with a patch to help uh, use it for the Motorola Droid 2. So first thing you need to do is you need to download the drivers, whether it's 32-bit um, or 64-bit, depending on the computer you have, and then download RSD Lite 7 with the patch, and also download the Droid 2 original firmware and save all that to your computer. Okay, so we're going to extract the RSD Lite program by right-clicking on it, clicking Extract All, then clicking Extract when it asks. And we're going to double-click that folder to open it, open the one inside. You'll see two files in here, a PST underscore flash dot INI, that's the patch that we're going to install in a second. But first, we need to install the actual RSD Lite program using the .msi file. So just double-click that, it'll give you a warning, say Run and then follow the on-screen steps to install the program. Okay, once it's done installing the RSD Lite, we're going to copy the PST underscore flash dot INI file, control C, and we're going to go to the C drive, program files, yours may be under x86 or the regular program files. Click on one of them to find out which one it is. Scroll down till we find Motorola, then RSD Lite, and in here we're going to right click and hit paste. It's going to ask us if we want to overwrite the file, say copy and replace so that it overwrites it, and then we continue. Okay, now we're going to take the drivers that we downloaded, we're going to right click them, depending on which computer you have, either 32 bit or 64, and extract them. Once they're extracted, you're going to open the folder, and then you're going to double-click the Motorola Consumer Driver Installation Package, uh, and let it install the drivers. Now we're going to plug the phone in by USB. And then we've got to pull down the notification bar, click on USB connection, choose PC mode, and click OK. Okay, now we're going to open RSD Lite by clicking on the Start menu and typing RSD into here and it should pop up right there. I'm going to click it and wait for it to open. Okay, once it starts it should show your phone plugged in and your phone's information here. Uh, if it doesn't, click show device and it'll refresh uh, and hopefully it will show this here. Once it does, you can continue. Okay, now we're going to click on the three dots right here and then we're going to look for the SBF file that we downloaded and extracted earlier. Okay, and the one that we're going to flash is the one that says secure at the end. So it's whatever, 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 secure.sbf. Click that one. We need to flash that one first. Click open. It should show its information here. Then we're going to click start. And it'll switch the device into flash mode, so it'll reboot, and then it should begin. Just so you know, it will say the progress right here. Just let it go. It will take a while to do this initial flash. Um, do not touch the phone. Do not unplug it. Don't even mess with your computer. Just let it sit and let it do its thing, uh, and then wait for it to finish. Okay, once it says finish under status, and it says pass under result, you're done flashing that file. We can go on to the next step. Okay, next we need to flash the other .sbf file. So, we're going to click on the three dots again. And then we're going to choose the hspart.sbf file, not the secure.sbf file that we just flashed. Click OK. And then again, we're going to hit Start. It should say it's switching the device into flash mode, so your phone should reboot, and then it should continue. Okay, once you flash the second uh, .sbf firmware, It'll say finish under status, say pass under result, it means you're all set, and your phone would have reset, and you now have the original firmware.